Hey, good morning, tubers. So I thought I would do a quick video response to a question. I think it's more of a statement than question. Let me read it. This is from Dragons R Epic. I don't believe they're recycled laptop batteries. They are. They are exactly the same colour, no scratches, marks, burns of any kind, not to mention how much that would have cost. No matter how much research I do, I still don't know anywhere near as enough as I want to. Right, let's answer some of those questions. Right, first and foremost, these things are your friend. Scale pads, um, scotch bright, no, they're like um, steel wool pads with soap in it. A bunch of unprocessed cells a bunch of processed cells, a bunch of unprocessed cells, and in fact they're all um, draw batteries and stuff like that. They're all failed because my kids play with them. One by testing station. And now this is the part that will actually answer your question. Now these are my packs. Well this is how I build my packs anyway. Nice and clean. Except for that one, got to have to sort that out, nice and clean. If you turn around, they're pretty bloody horrible if I should be honest. And they're all like this. Now this is uh, affectionately known as Bose Pack. This is the 50 kilowatt hour pack that I haven't installed yet or finished processing. So they're all the same, they've all got terrible cells on the inside well only the good parts on the outside so I've just I bodged it up I've cheated absolutely cheated and if you have a look at all these yeah so that's a built pack and they've got all colorful cells so it's only on the outside oh there's some goodness some gray goodness some three thousands and they're all the same. Ah. They've all got good cells on the outside, rubbish on the inside. So that's how it's done. So these all go on the outside of the 60th kilowatt hour pack. But you've got to go through and scrape all this off. And sometimes you can't scrape it off or they're damaged or whatever like that. One of that, I wouldn't even bother receiving that because the positive end is fine. All that that'd do is I'd just put it in the in the center and away I go. I don't waste any time processing it. So, I hope that, that's a silly little video, but I hope that sort of answers some questions for some of the newbies on how I build my packs. Naturally, then I just get the bus bars, whack them on the outside, and put them into service. That shed, that said, I should really finish Bose pack and put it into service. I just don't have anywhere to put it. The 50 kilowatt hour Bose pack. It's terrible. I need a new shed. Cheers, tubers.